So dinner is only cassava soup. That's all we got. We got that and also rice. If you wanted, you could have had some of the stuff from lunch, but I'm good with that. I'm gonna eat cassava soup tonight. I'm super excited. First time eating straight cassava soup and it also has chicken, right? Okay, have a nice meal. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Isadao, Suriname. This place is located about five hours south of Paramibo, so you gotta drive like three, four hours all the way down to Achone, then get a boat ride, 45 minutes down river, and then you're here. Isadao is basically a resort island in the middle of the Suriname River. This place is beautiful. The only place I can compare this to is a place that I went to in San Blas in Panama. Small island, lots of bungalows, that's it. So here we have 28 bungalows. Three of them, these three, have two beds. The rest of them have four beds. You can also have lunch here, dinner, breakfast, everything, obviously all that's included. And then you can go here in the Suriname River and take a bath. You can swim with the Cayman, the Anaconda, and the Piranha. Right now what I wanna do is I wanna show you my bungalow. Follow me. Here we go. So right when you enter, this is very unique for me. You have the toilet, the faucet, and the shower. Come on. And then we have our two beds. Look at this, beautiful. Beds, always oh, with mosquito net. I see a mosquito right here, look at this guy. Get rid of him. <laughs> mosquito net for sure, always have to have that. And what I do usually at night is as soon as I put the mosquito net down, I spray off around the bed, the edges of the bed, and then I jump in and I don't leave there for eight hours. If not, you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and you get bit by mosquitoes. You don't want to do that. And then, look at this. We have a small little terrace right here, little place to like, you know, sit, relax. Also have a hammock here. I can't wait to use this tonight. This is amazing. Whoa, this is gonna be really nice. There's no anaconda in here, right? <laughs> and this is it, look at this. What a view, amazing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go have some lunch and we might just jump in that Surinamese river. I don't know, Suriname river, piranhas, anacondas, caiman, turtles. So for lunch we have some rice, we have some green beans, we have some other veg, we have chicken, and then we also have some cucumber. Very like from the bush, right? All this is from here. Got my veggies, bitter melon greens, green beans, got some rice, got some chicken. Mm. Man, these green beans are amazing. I just love the green beans. They're so delicious. They're so earthy. And yeah, they're good for you. Next up we have the bitter melon greens. It's like almost like coleslaw the way it is. Wow, it's like very soupy, but at the same time, it's just veg. Mm. Oh, that's spicy. Spice, you gotta mix that with the rice. Woo, hot. I'm gonna mix everything together here. Next, I'm gonna get some chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, amazing chicken. It's actually tasted like the chicken that we had with the uh, Indonesian people. Mm. Pretty damn good. Very filling. Here's what you eat out here, you know? You eat what the locals eat. It's the marinade they're using. The marinade's freaking sweet and delicious. I mean, you know what it is? It's, it has this like Asian feel to it. And it's so good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Have to mix everything together. And that was our delicious Surinamese river lunch. The people who work here are locals that live in villages up the river, right? And they farm those vegetables, they raise those chickens. It's super fresh, super organic incredibly delicious oh my god that food was so good i mean it's very healthy for you you know keep it light and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick break like a 20 minute break and we're gonna jump in the water and i was joking about anacondas caimans and piranhas i mean obviously that stuff is here but there's an area here where there's a lot of water flowing so you won't see any of those animals they'll stay usually on the river banks on the other side not near the island are you guys ready to go swimming on the Suriname river let's do it sleeping for <laughs> yeah you want swimming you gonna try here? He's gonna do it, I'm gonna film him. He's gonna go from over there to over here. Just downstream, right? Oh, it's raining. Here in Suriname the whole day, the uh, whole years. Yeah. But uh, the Suriname people, if they have vacation, then they go here to relax. Yes. And uh, yeah, the tour operators, they bring the tourists here too. 
Lots of rain. It's just sprinkling, but it's a lot. I'm not going in just because I'm not ready for this. This is a Suriname River. I mean, it's a little wild right now. Should I really go in? What do you think? Hey, you good there? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should do this. Hey, should I do it? Should I do it? Yeah. I mean, it's raining like crazy though. Like a massage. Yeah, yeah. This has been a very long sun shower. I mean, never ending. Over 20 minutes long. I came up here to this little like observation that they have. Really cool with three hammocks. And right here we have the beautiful river, Suriname River. This island is so sick. As you can see, he's swimming right through there. I mean, he's trying to get pushed, but I mean, the current isn't so bad right now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's raining, so we're gonna wait, see what else we do. I think we're gonna go out and maybe see some caimans at night. He was telling me we can go out there with a spotlight. It just depends if it's still raining or not. If it is, unfortunately we won't go. If it ain't, we'll go. It's raining, raining, bad, 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 let's run. Ah! Let's get to the room. All right, I gotta fly. All right, so it's almost six o'clock, and what we have to do now is we have to put down our mosquito net. Always at six o'clock, once it's dark out, you don't want the mosquitoes in here. And this is how you do it. You gotta open it up, spread it out under here. Enough, enough. Don't make it too tight, you still have to get into it. All right? Here you have to lift up, and you have to leave a little room here, like a little room where you can just open it, jump in, and close it. That's basically it. All right, let's go have dinner. Cocoa tree. Oh, cacao tree? Yeah, look at the nice. fruit here. Oh, wow. I didn't know you have cacao over here. Yeah. Another calabas tree. These are the ones we've been seeing all over the place. So whenever you hear the maracas, dun, 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 it's this. It's 6.45 right now and we're going to dinner. Uh, there's no one here, so it's just him and me at dinner. We're gonna have a beer, have some delicious food, and then we might be going out to see some caimans. Is that for sure? Yeah, uh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? Yeah, it's PM. Okay. The only problem with going to see Cayman is that for you guys, it's going to be almost impossible to see. It's going to be super pitch black out there. Um, but if we do see one, we'll you know shine a spotlight on it. We're about to eat dinner where we ate lunch at one of these open air dining halls. As you can see, one massive table. There's one, two, three, four of these. So our food's over here. No, our food's not here yet, but we do have beers. Prost. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's so hot right now. Thank you. All right, that's dinner on top. It's amazing. Wow, what is that? The cassava. So dinner is only cassava soup. That's all we got. We got that and also rice. If you wanted, you could have had some of the stuff from lunch, but I'm good with that. I'm gonna eat cassava soup tonight. I'm super excited. First time eating straight cassava soup and it also has chicken, right? Yeah, that's nice smell. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Cassava soup. Yes, let's try this. Okay. Mmm. Okay. It's a super thick soup. And actually, cassava tastes like yuca in a way. Mm hmm. Cassava is not yuca, no? But similar. Yuca. Wow. Yeah. Cassava must be yuca. Maybe I'm off. I'm the one who didn't really know about it. Cassava. Cassava yuca? Same thing, man. Yuca is in Spanish? Mm hmm. Yes, it's the same one. Because we are Meridian. I didn't know that. I'm Meridian. So you got the best yuca souk of the jungle ever. Mmm. And she gave me this huge chili. This girl like has it out for me. She really wants me to like not feel good later. To bite it? So cut it open, let all the seeds go, right? That's what you need to do, seeds. Mix it up. I actually like this pepper a lot, not bad. Wow, ooh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, it's like cayenne peppers just like rolling around the seeds. Mm, but this is so nice. Mm, small bites. There's no peppers, no, it's not so spicy. Still a little hot. Wow. 
Delicious yuca. Cassava. Mmm. You need water? Then a Guinness. Whoa. Oh, but this food's so good, man. I'm a huge yuca fan. If you ask my wife, she'll tell you. I eat yuca all day. Mmm. All right, guys, I'm done with dinner. Still gotta wait an hour. I have to wait like 90 minutes before we go out to see the Caymans. And the reason we go so late is because that's when they come out. They don't really start coming out until like 8, 8.30. So we're gonna go out there at nine, and hopefully we see one, right? All right, guys, it's nine o'clock. Let's go see some Caymans. Follow me. All right, it's gonna be very dark though, unfortunately. There's almost no light out here, no light pollution. The best part about that is that you see the stars. You're gonna feed the Cayman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's making funny jokes here, man. <laughs> and this is the dock, look at this. It's actually pretty scary just getting on the boat. <laughs> like, you can fall right there. Uh-oh. Anaconda. So the Captain Malu has a spotlight on his head. Like that? Oh, yes. Uh, no. There we go. So here we have my spotlight. So the whole time it'll be like this, just looking. Mm -hmm. This is great. All right. So it's just me and the captain who have a spotlight. Damn, this is gonna be fun. I've only done this one other time, but not in here. Not in Suriname. Uh, ready to take. Yeah, right? Yeah. This is awesome. Wow. I can see really far. Yeah, good. It's night swallow? Wow. So bright, like a diamond. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow. So we saw a swallow and a caiman, but the caiman just went down like really, really fast. So he was telling me it's gonna be like this though. The closer we get, the more scared they get and they just disappear. Man, this is so dark. Oh, there's something right there. Look, what's over there? It's amazing that with just with the spotlight, you just keep moving around and you just start seeing eyes pop up left and right. Whoa. Yeah, he's at least like two meters? No. Meter and a half, yeah. So we can't go in there. You want to get off? You want to get off? We're like running into the What happened? We're stuck? Let's get out of here. The came gonna come over here. <laughs> There's easily a two meter came in. Wow. All right. Let's get out of here. We're like in the bush right here. Wow. We're like in his face. <laughs> No, I don't want to get on the tree. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm good, I'm good. I can't even see through here, but look at him. Woo! One and a half meter. One and a half meter? Yeah. Not so big. Not so big. I mean, we got like two meters away? Not even, like a meter. <laughs> oh my God. Look at me. I'm the boogie man. Look at this. We're in the dark. Super scary. Anything would be here, though. Jaguar. So far, like three came in, one like pretty big one, the rest of them are small. Yeah. And we all saw a swallow, that's it. Okay, so we just came back from the river, we saw three came in. One was a five footer, huge monster came in. We went up into the bush trying to see him, got really close about like, I don't know, two or three feet away from him. Then after that, we also saw two other came in, they were like under a foot, so like six inches each around there. Saw a swallow, and yeah, basically that's it. So today, what we did, is I gave you a tour of the property, showed you my bungalow. Really nice, there's 28 bungalows here. Three of them are like that, just like two beds. The other was 25, have four each. Then we also had delicious lunch. My favorite thing for the lunch was the greens, you know, the green beans were so good. Then after that, we, well, he got in the water. I like had to avoid a huge thunderstorm. I went back into my uh, unit and then after that we had dinner, delicious dinner, cassava soup, which is basically yuca. Really nice. The pepper was amazing. <laughs> and then uh, after that, we went and saw some Cayman. So basically, this is like sort of what your day would be like if you got there here around like, let's say 3 p.m. That's what you can do from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. We actually had a lot of time to chill because between like lunch and dinner, it was a lot of time just to really relax. And that's what you do here. You come, you relax, and definitely contact Jenny Tours when you come to Suriname. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Suriname.